Okay, so how was the introduction of classification keys a major contribution to taxonomy? So, okay, it's not all right. Before the introduction of the keys, there wasn't exactly a way to classify organisms in a linear system, meaning a system where um, it is universal. So, say, person scientist A may call a dog a you know a fluffy fluffy whatever. And science B, scientist B can call it a barking whatever, and even though they're describing the same thing, there, um, there wasn't an exact way to prove that they're talking about the same thing because there wasn't a classific classification key. And so, in short, before the introduction of it, is that um, there wasn't a way of classifying. And after the introduction of linear lean classification system. Uh, there was, there became a way to classify it. So, it begins with life, meaning it's a living organism, and then it goes down to kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, species, genus, and spe uh, species. Uh, there's also categories such as uh, subphylum and suborder and subgenus, but that isn't really covered, and therefore I will go over it. Yeah. And next slide we will see an example of um, how the class how the classification works. So Komodo dragon is one of my favorite animals. Um, their scientific name is Varanus komodensis. Um, as you can see, it goes from kingdom down to species. So the kingdom is Animalia, meaning they're an animal. Phylum, Chordata, class, Reptilia, they're reptiles, order, Squamata, family, Ver Veranidae, genus Veranus, and species is Comonesis. So, the scientific name is usually drawn from the genus and the species, and that's how it works. Lastly, I have a picture of a lovely Komodo dragon. And, um,. If any of you are unclear about it, there is still a day to ask. I'm sorry. So, thanks. Bye.